Are you ready for a mashup of division rivals on Monday night? Are Fields and the Bears ready to air it out at the Midway? Are Cook and the Vikings ready to run wild on the road? Are you ready? I got you, don't worry. I've started guidance. Your home. This holiday season, hurry in for the BMW Road Home Sales Event and find your way home in the ultimate driving machine. Hurry in and receive a credit of up to $2,500 through January 3rd. ABC7 Spark of Love, presented by Subaru, is proud to be a part of the Walt Disney Company World's Ultimate Toy Drive. This is Eyewitness News with live breaking news. Good morning to you on this Monday. We're following this breaking news continuously on that westbound 210. It continues to remain backed up because of a deadly crash in Pasadena. Here's a live look right now from Air 7 HD. The CHP says that a pedestrian was hit by at least one car, died at that scene, and several westbound lanes are blocked right now right at Lake Avenue. That back up all the way to at least Allen, which is about a mile, and it's not going to get very much better uh, as your morning commute progresses into the morning hours and more people hit the roads. Uh, we'll keep you posted when they start opening up some more lanes, but you definitely want to avoid that area if you can. And more breaking news. We're following this traffic alert on the 605 as well. This is in West Whittier, that's 605 South at Washington, 605 North as well. A multi-vehicle crash blocking the HOV lane, number one, two lanes. Now, uh, the 605 South, you have three lanes being blocked. 605 North, those lanes are going to be blocked until 640 this morning. So that is another mess. We're working to get more details on how both sides of traffic are impacted by this. Maybe that the center divider got hit with a, you know, with a strong momentum from the crash. But you can see that is an area you definitely want to avoid on this Monday. Thanks for joining us live here on ABC7 Hulu Live and wherever you stream. I'm Brandi Hitt. And I'm Rachel Brown in for Leslie Sykes. Last Monday before Christmas. Christmas. Yes, a lot of wow. people doing that Christmas shopping. Leslie, how's the how's the weather going to be looking for people who are doing those last minute preparations? Hi. Yeah, you know, not too warm. Uh, it's kind of chilly this morning, too. If you're waking up and walking out the door, take a big sweater or jacket with you. We have some frost in our Inland Empire and our Valley communities. And then if you wait long enough, you know, if you're doing that last minute shopping on Thursday, you're going to be met with some rainfall. So you might want to get it all done at least Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, if you're getting close to that last minute type of deal, which I know a lot of us do. Downtown Los Angeles, 63. Inland Orange County, 64. The Inland Empire and the Valley community is about 67 degrees. It is going to be a bit more cloudy by the afternoon. We start out with more sunshine this morning, and then the clouds will enhance. The coastline will hit 60. If you're heading out to the mountains, about 47, and the high desert's hitting about 52 degrees later on today. We'll have more coming up in a full forecast in just a bit. For now, we'll send it back over your way, and we'll break down all of the chances of rain this week. There are several. All right, Leslie, thanks so much. Well, we will find out today if L.A. County has a fourth consecutive day with more than 3,000 new COVID cases after months of lower totals. Yesterday, the county did report more than 3,500 new positive cases. That is more than double the new cases that were reported just a week ago. Meantime, 743 people are currently hospitalized with COVID in L.A. County, and that's a small increase from last week, but still way below the roughly 8,000 hospitalizations we saw last winter. Now, because of the rising COVID numbers that we're seeing, there are a lot of local events now that are either being postponed or canceled by officials. Eyewitness News reporter Ashley Mackey is live in downtown L.A. with a breakdown of what you need to know if you plan on going to any of these. Ashley, good morning. Good morning, Rachel and Brandy. Yeah, ringing in 2022 may look and feel a lot like ringing in 2021, including right here in Grand Park. Due to COVID-19, the invite only audience event to celebrate the new year is now going virtual. Originally, frontline workers and first responders were going to attend. It's the second year in a row the event will be virtual only. Prior to the pandemic, the celebration was the largest New Year's Eve celebration on the West Coast. The Anaheim Ducks game is being postponed tonight. They were set to play at Edmonton and Vancouver on Thursday, but the NHL has decided to postpone games between teams in the U.S. and teams in Canada due to the virus. The L.A. Kings game against Edmonton on Wednesday is also postponed. COVID-19 is also forcing changes.